Good morning and welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today show. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today show. I want to talk about dreams, the increasing chances God will make your dreams come true. Folks, I said this story a few times already. I put actually a snippet of my book out yesterday all over social media about how I was tested by God and our dreams came true. This can happen to you as well, but you need to start believing that there is a God and that God does work at his own pace to make your dreams come true. <clears throat> Got a dream you desperately need to come true? Want your desires fulfilled? Of course you do, but let me rock your thinking for a moment. Th uh, think God is waiting for you to get things right before he gives you the desires of your heart? I hope not, because if that's so, you'll be waiting for a long time. God fulfills our dreams and desires based on his uh, uh, deeds, not ours, my friends. Psalms 37, 4 says, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Not when God is delighted with you, he will give you the desires of your heart. Nope, not how it goes. Listen to this very slowly, my friends. God already delights in you. He is not waiting uh, on you to get it right. He is waiting on you to delight in him. Got that? It's based on your performance. You can't do enough to get God to make your dreams come true. He wants to be your delight. A snapshot of delight. What is a delight? Well, how can you define delight? Well, it's being taken with something, allowing the sweetness and the goodness of someone or something to enrich your life, almost like candy or cake. And when you find something delightful, you give it number one priority all the time. Well, my friends, <clears throat> and when you find something delightful, it can be savoring. So if you delight in God, which I hope you do, you'll give him priority. Look at how he provides, and it's a win-win situation. Seek God's kingdom and God and what God wants, and he will shower you with delights to fulfill your dreams. Then all your other needs will be met as well, Matthew 6, 33. So how does it work, you might ask? Well, when you delight in God, something amazing happens, like happened to me uh, last week. You desire actually being to mimic his, you end up desiring what he wants you to desire. Something goes off inside of you and screams, his way is the best way. God plants his longings deep in your heart and you want them to be so bad. You crave, this will be, bam, his desire becomes your desire. Your delight in God is more important than your due. It's, not, it's got nothing to do with you do. You can't work your way into getting the desires of your heart. You just can't do it alone. Your good works aren't going to work your way into God's favor. Look at the verse below, or let me read the verse below. The reward goes to those who seek him and delight in him, not to those who work there, but off of trying to perfect and right his righteousness. And it is impossible to please God without faith. And that is the most important factor in this whole equation. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe God exists and that his reward, he rewards those sincerely that seek him. Hebrews 11.6 If you delightfully seek the Lord, delight in him, he will reward you and give you the desires of your heart each and every day. So if you want to increase the likelihood that God will give you the desires of your heart, trade your due for delight. This is how you have increasing chances of making your dreams come true. So I'm going to tell you the quick story. I go to the bank and I go to cash a check. My pay stub says one thing. The envelope that was given to me by this young lady had $300 more than what my pay stub said. Of course, all of us would probably say, gee, we could use that extra $300 to, to pay our bills. But you know what? That's not how God wants us to, to, to work it. That's not how we are as Christians. So I went back online and I stood online and I noticed a young lady behind the counter was looking at me and I probably would guess that she was thinking, what did I do wrong? 
Well, she did do something wrong, but something wrong in a way that will protect her job and not make her lose her job. She gave me $300 too much. My turn approaches, and I approach the lady, and I tell her, she goes, what's the matter? What did I do? And I said, you gave me $300 too much. From that point on, we exchanged smiles. She had tears. She extended her hand to hold my hand for a minute. She called her manager over. And that is God in his works. That is God saying, Ralph, I tested you. You did well. That was on Thursday of last week. So on Friday, my wife and I were driving in. Just to give you a background on my wife's dreams that she's been having for a couple of years now is to open up a little deli somewhere, a little sandwich shop, a little cafe. She's had the name Brown Baggett in her mind. She's had a website under construction. She even has license plates that say Brown Baggett. Well, out of nowhere, I believe God spoke to me and, she, and made me say the following words. I said, sweetie, do you remember the hotel you and I used to stay in every time we came down to visit Virginia? Let's just go there because I know they don't have someone to serve food. So we drove over there and I, I bet you in the back of my wife's mind, she said, another dead end, but let's give it a shot. I asked for the owner and he comes and talks to us. I mentioned what we had in mind and he ran around the counter to talk to us. He enthusiastically was welcome to the news or the idea of having some sort of sandwich shop. He mentions that he doesn't just only own the hotel, but he owns two convenience stores. Well, folks, folks, I'm going to fast track this. We came to an agreement on Friday. On Saturday, we were building. On Sunday, we completed the building, 75% of my wife's first out of three that he is offering us locations. Today is Tuesday. I'm going to go down there and connect a little bit of electric stuff. Folks, Sunday morning, 1.30 a.m., I'm on Facebook. I see a steamer that my wife needs for the business. I write to the person that's selling it. By 2 o'clock, I get a message back from a lady. Her name is Barbara. And Barbara says, listen, I'll meet you down by your, your new area, your new location, and I'll drop it off. And I'm only going to ask you for $40. She arrives Sunday at, oh, I don't know, about 3 o'clock. We start talking. She gives my wife ideas on how to run a business. She says to my wife, you need to get yourself a tax ID and a name for the business. And my wife says, well, wait a minute. We have a name. It's called Brown Baggett. Folks, here come the goosebumps. The lady says, are you kidding me? Before I opened my cafe, which I just recently closed, it was called Cafe 509 in Halifax, but I was going to name it Brown Bag Cafe. Folks, if that's not God working, I don't know what is. If you want to get the whole story, just go and read on Facebook. I put a short version of this story, a snippet, on Facebook. That will be in my book. Bottoms up, surrendering, surrendering to God, not booze. Folks, she's going to meet us today, today at 5 o'clock again to give us more supplies. If that is not God fulfilling not only your dreams, but connecting all the dots in your life, I don't know what it is. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son, my friends. He gave his only son. If you truly don't believe that God exists... Come and talk to me. Come and talk to millions of other people that see miracles. I had four days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and three miracles happened. That is God working. God will provide. He doesn't want you to worry about it. God will provide. Just trust in Him. Live a spiritual life and trust in Him. And always remember to do unto others what you want done to you. I hope today that you all find that without God, we are nothing, but with God, we are everything. Call me at 844-405-HELP because together you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. And may God bless each and every one, and I hope you all have dreams, and I hope they all come true, but they will only come true through the power of prayer and to include Christ. And may God bless each and every one of you. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>